Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Coffee and Cleavage. Hello. <laughs> I think we're going to pick up where we left off last week. Now, last week was really good. I've gotten a lot of good comments from you guys. Yeah, we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, where we left off? Cheating. We were talking about threesomes, threesomes. and how often complicated it is when you're in a serious or committed relationship and you have a threesome and maybe you don't have boundaries set or maybe you do and they just get broken anyways and your threesome ends up with one of the partners mm -hmm. cheating on the other mm -hmm. keeping secrets doing things behind the other one's back yep and just how slippery of a slope that really can be yeah because you're thinking okay i'm i'm hooking up with this person already with my partner here and you know it's okay because you know some people think it's okay just because they've fucked a girl you know then they can do it on the side yeah it's true so yeah. cheating have you ever been cheated on i've never been sexually cheated on um, I would say the closest thing to cheating for me is probably been mentally um, and, or emotionally. Emotionally. Yeah. Somebody else was having their emotional needs met by somebody else other than you. Yeah. Just talking to other people, you know, online. And that, and that hurts. It does. I don't really know if I consider it cheating fully, but in a way, I feel like a lot of people don't look at it that way unless you're cheating on someone sexually a lot of think it's not cheating because you're just talking to someone you don't have that sexual contact but I think that's wrong I think it's definitely I think it's still cheating. deceitful yeah at the end of the day mm -hmm. when you're keeping a secret they weren't being honest they're not like hey I'm talking to other people online yeah you know it wasn't like a discussion like let's have an open relationship or let's let's be able to talk or pursue other people if it seems fitting like if that was the case, then I would say it's not cheating. Yeah. But when you are, like, secretively going behind the other person's back and, you know, having intent. So, like, talking to other people with the intent of maybe that's going to lead to something or maybe trying to make something happen. Then it definitely falls into that, like, gray area. Like, it does. Why are you together if you're trying to have your your needs met by somebody else, even if it is emotional? Yeah, exactly. Especially some people that do that, I feel like they may not have the intent that they're ever going to sexually cheat, but I feel like it can definitely lead to that. And you know? you're getting, you're kind of getting off on that, and, and I don't necessarily mean you're fucking <laughs> getting off. Maybe, maybe you are, maybe you're not, but you're getting something out of that, like, secretiveness, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's like, even if you're like, oh, but it wasn't sexual, but you were getting something out of it that you weren't getting from the person that you're with mm -hmm. so it just it gets a little bit mucky and you're right it can lead to actually cheating sexually exactly I mean I don't know how it couldn't if someone kept doing it for a long time you yeah know? and I mean I feel like there's just so many reasons that people cheat and yeah. not justifying cheating whatsoever but people just go into things for different things like maybe their needs aren't being met by their partner maybe they don't know how to communicate with their partner about what their needs are yeah or they just feel maybe very lonely yeah you know maybe lonely insecure yeah yeah like you know maybe they're looking for an out yeah some people definitely cheat just because they would like to end the relationship but they don't know how and it's kind of like a free ticket out oh well I cheated on you okay it's over it's like they couldn't just communicate that they you know weren't happy anymore they didn't want to be together they yeah. had to like use cheating as like a and you know I think get out that, of jail free card that's the most selfish thing someone can do to someone because that's heartbreaking I mean have you ever been cheated on yeah I have <laughs> more than once unfortunately oh my god so see it's like you know that I'm sure you've experienced that real heartbreak feeling then with that like yeah, that's I devastating mean, it's, it's, it fucks you up too it does it, it crushes you, you can't trust and yeah you don't trust and you know you think like is it something wrong with me like did I do something wrong was I not doing something right I mean but I feel like the real honest truth of it is that cheating doesn't have to do with the person being cheated on 
it has to do with the person doing the cheating yes for those same reasons we just talked about you know maybe they're feeling insecure they're angry they're upset they're looking for excitement i mean i'm not gonna lie some people literally cheat because it, it's exciting to them yes. they like having that thrill of doing something that they're not supposed to be doing behind somebody else's back yep and there are people that just do that no matter what you know <laughs> yeah. unfortunately i know it is unfortunate it's sad because it, it's like you know you would think be single then yeah but be single and save save some freaking heartache yeah it makes you wonder why they wouldn't just be single is it because they still want to have that you know i feel like people it's don't selfish. like to be lonely so they want to still have that person there but, but they be able to their... do what the fuck they yeah. want to do that's see it's having your fucking cake and eating it too <laughs> yeah exactly you know, it's, it's, it is really selfish it i is. feel like yeah and it's just it's just hard to make sense of and once you break that trust like once i found that out that i was cheated on two separate times two separate people That's um awful. I'm sorry. it just it it just breaks your trust you question everything you no longer have that trust like that wall just crumbles down because now you just don't know what to believe you know like what's true and what isn't true yeah and i feel like something that's interesting about people that get cheated on is that I feel like some people and I'm not saying all but I feel like some people are more inclined to stay with somebody that cheated on them if they've already been with them for a long period of time Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that is very true I've heard of a lot of women that have been married for years and you know some even have kids and yep you know that can make it complicated yeah yeah and then they think like oh well I I already invested all this time and energy into this relationship and we do have children or we do have a house or we do have all these you know surrounding environment things that like maybe I can get over this you know Mm -hmm. and so they just deal with it they don't say anything Mm -hmm. or they try to make it work yeah and it's it's I feel like it's hard to know like what is right when somebody cheats on you yeah like what how do you react it's gonna be so different depending on the individual and the history exactly like did they cheat on you already (laughs) well you know what I find interesting it seems like a lot of industries such as you know law enforcement mm-hmm. a lot of cops you find cheat on their wives not all cops sports but, players yeah. too that's another firefighters big one. yeah it's like it, is it because they're gone all the time working long hours and then you know they don't really see their wife that much and you would think maybe even their wife cheats too because she's lonely and home all the time i don't know military First, wives too yeah. i definitely know oh yeah um, more than my fair share of those uh-huh. i've known a few of those too <laughs> and i think that maybe what that comes down to and that's probably a lot psychological mm-hmm. is like wanting not wanting to share what's going on in their lives with their wives or their partners and so just looking for that side um maybe sexual encounter without the strings without the thoughts without without the feelings yeah you know yeah and like you said they want to have their cake and eat it too so they do want to be able to have their home life and everything but then still have all their need their other needs met separately Mm -hmm. and that can just be really hurtful and you know it happens obviously it happens both ways like women cheat on men Um, yes as well and people like we said cheat for different reasons yeah but um you know I I definitely have known a few friends that cheated as revenge revenge were they cheated on first yes okay so like their partner cheated on them and they were angry and they wanted to get even so they went and cheated and then told their partner about it damn like well, you did it, I can do it too, you know? I just feel like that's so, at that point, it's just so unnecessary, you know? It makes you wonder, so like the, you know, a few people you know have done that, do they make it work with their with their significant other just to be able to get that revenge back on them? Or do they make it work because they were sad and they love that person, yeah. and then after a while, they're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna get you back, you know? Yeah, <laughs> well, one of my friends, so she was really hurt, obviously, by it. And she, like, tried to separate from him, and she was angry, and so she went out, and she 
did something back, you know? And then, um, then they, after a while, they decided to work on things. So they, you know, put in the work, went to therapy, blah, 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 got everything, you know, it's a long road back after that type of thing happens. Absolutely. Because then he probably, in a way, almost felt better because he probably was living with that guilt that he cheated. So I'm not saying he felt better that she went and cheated on him. Yeah. But, but you just know what releasing I mean? the guilt like, of okay, knowing. Yeah. 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 And I don't, maybe not everybody feels guilty, but yeah. I think the guilt is like probably one of the number one reasons that people do Mm -hmm. tell the other person but it seems like there's a time expiration limit on that like the longer you don't tell somebody what happened the like less likely you are to ever say it out loud yeah because it gets easier like out of sight out of mind Mm -hmm. um they just try to forget about yeah, it. Yeah, you just try to forget about it. Like, it didn't happen. You convince maybe they convinced themselves that it didn't actually happen. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of people that can convince themselves, and yeah, I don't know. Justify, I can never convince. do it. <laughs> I'd be way too guilty. Yeah, I mean, you I've know? never cheated on Me someone. <laughs> I feel like, and, and I don't believe... I don't believe, like, the kind of cliche, like, once a cheater, always a cheater statement. I don't believe that either. I don't believe that. No. I feel like, you know, sometimes people do make mistakes. They they fuck up. They fix it, you know. But then there are people that enjoy that, like we're talking about. Like, people that just cheat on everyone, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So, I don't think it's, like, it's forever. I just feel like that statement is just, like, too to blanket yeah you know yeah but it is yeah. it is hard like once you know once you've been cheated on to trust that person again and what's interesting is I was reading something about cheaters and it was saying that if you've been if you've cheated on someone you're more likely to forgive somebody if they cheat on you I thought that was interesting so maybe that's like a little bit of compassion mm-hmm. like I fucked up before so that's what I'm saying yeah about your situation of your friend my that friend you know. yeah, yeah yeah exactly you know if, if he felt almost better in a way that she cheated because it's kind of like okay well now we both have yeah it's kind of like I mean it's even in the playing it. field I mean <laughs> yeah I don't know it's like okay now we're even now I don't have to feel so guilty for what happened yeah I, I just know. I just feel like it's so cut and like I know everything is complicated right everybody's yeah. lives are, are much more complicated than what meets the eye and we can see from the outside like so clearly like oh this is what they should do like that seems like a no-brainer but yeah. then when you're in something and it's your own life it always feels harder to identify what it is that you should do you know for yourself versus like your friend you're like oh well why, why don't you just fucking leave him yeah exactly. <laughs> he fucking cheated on you yeah you know it's always easier said than done when you're the person giving the advice and you know you think god why does she just listen to me but yeah why doesn't she just fucking leave yeah, like yeah. come on you yeah. deserve better than that but then maybe you find yourself in a similar situation and you're no longer talking to your friend you're talking to yourself and that's just interesting Mm -hmm. to see how we kind of like make our own lives more complicated or make theirs less complicated Mm -hmm. you know yeah it's I I just feel like if you're gonna cheat on somebody break the fuck up exactly you know break up I mean even if it's complicated (laughs) like even if it's complicated nothing is too complicated to to get out of you know and if you feel like you're gonna cheat break up before you do it to save that person because what you're doing to that person you're gonna fuck them up yeah you know you are because then they have to they have to deal with having that trust issue and they carry it on to their next relationship and yeah it's rough and for the people that are like you know they want to have their their side chick or their mistress and they want to have their their wife or their partner at home with their kids and Mm -hmm. that kind of shit I feel like that's just selfish it's so selfish it's so selfish because not only are you screwing up the partner relationship but the fine the family dynamic is going to be just as fucked up yeah you yeah. know mm-hmm. don't think that your um family members aren't going to find out <laughs> exactly you know and women are smart i feel like we are intuitive as fuck when we feel something's wrong we figure it out we're yeah. like investigators you know that actually so. reminds me of a story that i heard the other day um, 
I think I was in the car and I was listening to the radio and a, a woman called in on the radio and was saying that her husband was having late night cocktail hours with his friends in his office. And she noticed that like they kept getting later and later. So instead of like 9 p.m., they were 10 and 11. And she didn't get it because her husband's friends are on the East Coast. So she's like, that has to be really late for them. That's not making sense. So one night she went in there to tell him something and the door was locked. And she was like, oh, hmm, that's fucking weird. So the next day she asked him about it and he's like, he acted kind of strange about it. And he's like, oh, I didn't want the kids walking in while I was having my guy time. And she was like, <laughs> that's weird. That's a weird fucking answer. <laughs> yeah. And for context, they've been married for like 15 or 20 years or something. And so she got to thinking and she decided to put on her fucking detective cap. Reminded me when you said, like, women are intuitive, like, they figure yeah. shit out. They'll put on their fucking detective cap <laughs> and figure out what the fuck is going on. Absolutely. You know? And so she decided to listen in on the Alexa that was in the room, which I think oh, is pretty shit. fucking smart. That's pretty fucking Some clever. people would be okay with that, would, would be not okay with that, and they're like, oh, she's doing something wrong by not trusting. But there's a reason she wasn't trusting him. Yeah. Because what he was saying wasn't adding up. Yeah. You know? And, and that's I where I think like, it's okay. I think that warrants further investigation. Because Absolutely. if somebody's not being forthright with you, yeah. you know, you don't just have to accept their bullshit fucking answer. Yeah. Like, you, you have to figure it out. You have a reason for digging in and wanting to find out what's going on. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. So, she listened in. What do you think she heard? <laughs> Did it say? Yeah. Oh, God. What did she hear? <laughs> well, she heard her husband having, you know phone sex or online sex with somebody else oh, she heard like all the noises and the everything that was going what? on and she was you know obviously distraught about it like what the fuck is going on in there and so she fucking called him on the radio and called him out about it i was like i can't believe this this is such a such a oh juicy fucking God, that is juicy. thing to call the radio yeah. about but hey like circumstances sometimes require like extremes like how to navigate stuff when you've never been in that situation before i wonder how she didn't react and waited to like call, call the radio, radio. i would I have been know. banging on that fucking door <laughs> like what the fuck you know what i mean like i'm the best i certainly wouldn't have listened to the call know. and then went to bed side by side because i no. guarantee you that that's probably what happened oh i would just be so heated i don't know how and there's a lot of women that could be so silent about that yeah you know that's usually conditioned i yeah. feel like yeah. just putting up with shit or just like you know i feel like it, it at a point it is a little bit of a character defect like yeah. not to not stand up for yourself and mm -hmm. that that kind of thing mm -hmm. um sometimes there's reasons like maybe you've been previously abused maybe, you know like there's reasons but I just I couldn't even believe it and he, he was like oh I was having a date and she's like you're having a fucking date what do you mean you're dating people oh and he's like no I was I was online I don't know her that much you know it's a relief it doesn't mean anything oh it's it's just sexual you know and here's the problem with that it does matter. It does. It, it does, does matter. Yeah. It does hurt. And people are like, oh, what well, you can go to a strip club or you can watch porn. But here's the difference. It's not, you can watch porn and it's not intimate, right? It's not intimate. You're not connecting You're not with connecting another person. Exactly. With someone else. You're not, and, and even if he doesn't know anything about her, he's literally probably on some cam website, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, beating it while she's calling him daddy. I mean, <laughs> sorry, but that's the fucking truth. Yeah. yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. And, you know, it just, moral of this story, be better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For all people, men and women, like, be better. I know. It, I guess they just, they love that exciting factor and they... A then lot. watch That's porn like, exactly i know i don't i don't i don't understand it at all but watch it with your watch it with your partner yeah ask them about it talk yeah. to them about communicate it with them communicate with them if you want to spice shit up in the bedroom right you know? exactly I, mean, I i don't know i feel like 
you know, because they say if you've been married for a long time, they say, like, a lot of the men that cheat on their wives that have been married for a long time, 